This teeny capsule is vitamin D. Hold on. If you're experiencing sleep difficulties, getting to sleep, sleeping through the night, feeling irritable, your brain just seems like it's like a pinball machine. It just keeps moving and moving. You can't relax. There's a good reason why. And we look at all the millions and millions of people worldwide who are being treated with medicines and drugs, which have side effects. And there are very few physicians today that correlate low vitamin D levels to poor sleeping, difficulty sleeping. There's a direct correlation. And I want to explain the physiology of what's happening within our bodies so you can take better care of yourself and get a good night's sleep. There's no doubt that getting sunlight helps us get the most vitamin D. Although as we get older, we spend very little time in the sun. And those common foods that are high in vitamin D are mushrooms, eggs, cow's milk, salmon, yogurt, liver, cheese, tuna, tofu, oily fishes, as well as those fortified foods that you may be eating. And there's no doubt that we are not getting enough vitamin D. Remember that vitamin D has a direct correlation with our immune system. And if you're depleted, always getting sick, always feeling fatigue, and your body's not repairing and healing, you might be deficient in vitamin D. And one very important aspect is the role that vitamin D plays in the synthesis and the regulation of our neurotransmitters. And our neurotransmitters are chemical messengers that facilitate communication between our nerve cells and the brain. And vitamin D receptors are present in various areas of the brain, including regions involved in mood regulation and our sleep-wake cycles. And because vitamin D affects our sleep-wake cycle, that means it's going to affect the production of melatonin. And melatonin is secreted from the pineal gland of our brain. And it's that dark light that helps secrete that melatonin so we can get to sleep. And vitamin D is involved in the synthesis of serotonin, a neurotransmitter that plays a crucial role in mood regulation and sleep. Serotonin is synthesized from the amino acid tryptophan and vitamin D is necessary for the conversion of tryptophan into serotonin. And vitamin D influences other neurotransmitters, including dopamine and GABA, gamma aminobutyric acid. And vitamin D deficiency has been associated with cognitive impairments, mood disorders, and sleep disturbances. Insomnia or difficulty falling asleep or staying asleep is a consequence of insufficient vitamin D levels. And so when you hear the word GABA, that gamma aminobutyric acid, I want you to think as the inhibitory neurotransmitter because we have glutamate and glutamate is when we're nervous and stressed, when that sympathetic system is in that fight or flight. We have all this adrenaline, norepinephrine, as well as those high cortisol levels. It's that GABA that allows us to slow down, relax, feel serene, and get to sleep real fast. And furthermore, vitamin D deficiency has been associated with increased inflammation through the entire body. What does that mean? That means that that will affect the blood brain barrier. And that's the protective barrier that regulates the passages of substances between the bloodstream and the brain. And when we have disruption of the blood brain barrier, this will lead to increased permeability, allowing inflammatory molecules to enter the brain and affect its functioning. And it's that inflammation within the brain that disrupts our sleep wake cycle that causes that insomnia. And medical studies show that vitamin D deficiency is tied into many different psychiatric disorders, including anxieties as well as depression. And both of these in itself will lead to sleep disturbances that will cause insomnia. And this little fat soluble vitamin D can do wonderful things, not only for the health and wealth of your body, but to help you get a good night's sleep. The recommended daily allowance is 800 IUs, although I believe we should be taking in a lot more. And it would be best to check your vitamin D levels with your doctor so you will know how much vitamin D your body has. And common supplements come in 1,000 IUs, 2,000 IUs, 5,000 IUs, as well as 10,000 IUs. But it's vitamin D3 that you're looking for. 
I hope that this video serves you well. And to the millions of people out there worldwide who are having a hard time sleeping, guess what? This may be the miracle for you. Please share this video with your friends and family. Leave your comments below. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.